two worlds collide on the inside. On the inside. My name is John Dog Ma. You can still be John Dogma even in the Bakugan universe? Oh yeah. What's John Dogma? Uh, should I just try and make Chonkord? Yeah, you should. Okay. You know, it's you can only be limited. a dude in this game. You can only be a boy? Yeah. I remember being kind of pissed off about that when I was younger. Women <laughs> stay losing. Oh my god, you can be Jewish? <laughs> um, you can't be- Wait, you can't be that any- was it, There was only two mouths, and they were identical? Yeah. What changes? I think one slightly... ...wider. What the um, you can't be John Dogma or Chonk Lord because there's no beard options. Should I just make a generic hentai protagonist? Yeah. No, he's like 10 years old, isn't he? Chunk Lord with an afro and no beard. He's young kid, 60 years. Chunk Lord before he learned how to be cool. <laughs> Back when his name was John Dogma before he ascended to godhood. Yeah. And he used to wear cringe clothing like this. And, uh... He used to wear, uh, really tight pajamas. <laughs> if they're shorts, he has to wear those. If okay. not, then I guess the chaps will do. These are the shortest pants. Mm, they're not short enough. Do the chaps. Yo, wait, there's hats? Yeah. That one. That one. This no, one? go back. <laughs> Unless there's a fedora. Yeah, no, the, the one after that. Either the flat cap or a fedora. Fedora. It's kind of, yeah. Fucking go, boys. Yeah. Yellow fedora? Mm. No, two. Now he just looks like the man in the yellow hat. Uh, he's gonna have blue frames, so they don't match at all. Jungle didn't have any fashion sense back in the day. He also wore fingerless gloves because he thought those were cool. Solid gold fingerless gloves. Can we talk about the fact that the uh, the fucking dual disc from Yu-Gi-Oh did so well that Bakugan had to find a way to rip it off, even though they still just throw balls? I think they they use it for gate cards and ability cards. I know, but it's dumb. Bakugan so badly just wanted to be Pokemon, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh. I always really liked Bakugan just because, like, everything was big. And I liked, I liked how Bakugan... Dragonoid... I, li I liked Dragonoid's design and stuff. I liked Bakugan exclusively because it was, like, a superior toy model. This is giving me, uh... This is giving me, like, like war flashbacks to Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Because every level in that game looks exactly like this. And it's because Sword Art Online has such inspiring art direction. Holy fuck. Oh, but Fatal Fatal Bullet is based on Gun Gale, which has even better, more inspiring, more uh, the same thing a thousand times over art direction. There are literally like three scenes in that whole section of the show. Uh, desert. Burnout Town in the desert. And... Uh, Fucking cyberpunk dystopian mega city. I love sci fi so much. I get clipped by my fucking laser ray cunt. Imagine dodging back into your laser. Holy fuck. Rude. I used to play this on the Wii a shitload, and I used to actually be really good at the game. Why do I feel like this is one of those Wii games that for absolutely no reason had zero motion controls? Uh, uh, uh. Should we just skip all the cutscenes? No, no, no. We gotta, we gotta. Everyone needs to see the lore. <sighs> no one cares. I'm gonna be cutting most of this out. It's vital. Nah, I'm skipping this. Wow, fuck you. Okay, then we got amnesia, but not like the cute anime girl amnesia. Lame medical amnesia. Where you, like, try to kill your friends? Um, no, it's where you- Oh, wait, no, 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 we didn't get amnesia. All our friends got amnesia because, like, we're that one friend in the group that, um, no one remembers. Oh, it's like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I was in a group like that in middle school. But it's not like they'd forget about me. It's like they'd purposely exclude me from stuff because, um, I, I make a cringe. Can you stop <laughs> stopping me every two steps? No, you're- you're infinitely cringe. Hey, do you see this flashing object? 
you're six years old and you've never played a video game before, so I'm going to explain to you that you should walk over to it. I can't break the boxes. Literally zero out of ten game design. You only ever showed me the arena mode for this game, by the way. Yeah, I never showed you the story because no one cares about it. It looks kind of cool. Good God. Can you imagine that all that fucking wind up for one line of dialogue? Yep. That took so long. That interrupted the flow of gameplay so heavily. Uh, just letting you know the controls feel fucking terrible anyway, so... Is that Cloud Strife? No, that was, um... The, 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 the dumb gay kid. Cloud Strife? <laughs> Uh, mecha cunt. Oh, I look beautiful. Say, uh, if I knew a kid in elementary school who could do a backflip and throw his back gun directly onto his gate card, he would have been the coolest dude in the, in the entire school, despite oh, yeah. being an absolute dweeb. But I didn't <laughs> know any kids who could do that. Yeah, you only knew dweebs. Oh yeah, also, you lose points if you destroy, uh, structures. Like, buildings. That's really cool. That's like, actually, um, like a cool gameplay mechanic. It's frustrating though, because you're meant to be a big fucker. So, going around destroying stuff is kind of like, part of the fun. Like, when I, I... get smashed into a building, and it gets destroyed, that feels satisfying. Actually. Why is there just a toddler leading you around your fucking... <laughs> who, who was that? Whose baby was that? <laughs> Dressed in, like, full clothes, leading you around a hotel. He's the smartest so, kid in the group. So, are your parents? <laughs> He's smarter than everyone here. He's the smart kid. Well, that's not, like, a high bar. They're all dumb as shit, but still. <laughs> How do I throw my Pokeball? Oh, I don't have to. And actually, you mean your Bakugan? Um, actually, you're still a virgin? Actually, no you. <sighs> Fuck you. You did not- I did not just watch you just throw your whole ass fucking robot Bakugan monster pill thing at an orb to collect it. Yeah, that's a core mechanism in this game. Fucking allow- what? Just yeet. Yeah. Oh boy, I sure do love throwing my fucking literally priceless giant alien space robot as a marble at little little fucking packs of gummy bears on the ground. Also, we can um, manipulate. We we can abuse the guards and their ADHD. So like every stealth section. Alright, that's mildly interesting. Like that's a little bit cool. So I assume this mechanic came pretty naturally to you. It's like a, you guys, that's how you guys collect things in, in uh, Australia, right? What, we run around the ground and throw marbles at them? Uh, I was figuring it would be like a boomerang so it would come back, but yeah. You'd be happy to hear that I was indeed taught how to use a boomerang, um, and I still sucked at it. Yeah, they do indeed teach us how to use boomerangs in Australia. You'd be happy to hear that I did in fact attempt to learn how to use a boomerang, and it was not more than 10 minutes before it was on the neighbor's roof, and I never saw it again. That boomerang did not return. By the way, you can't actually turn the camera. What? Yeah, you can't turn the camera. What is this, the original Resident Evil? Oh my god, we're going to London. Oh, I can't wait to watch Princess Principal. That's what you do when you go to England? You watch a TV show about being in England? Princess Principal is a slice-of-life comedy about a typical day in London. When you see me play as Percival, you will actually see why he's such a massive Chad. I have seen you play as Percival. Oh. I forgot. You forgot. It's not funny. It's objectively hilarious. You know what's objectively hilarious? How much of a loser what? you are. What the hell is going on? Whoa, that jump! Is it just nice. me or does that Neo Dracusi look fine? It's just you. <laughs>
Oh my god, he's dead! He fucking died? Yeah, he's just ascended. How did you manage that? Um, I beat him up with my frog fetish foot legs. Frog fetish foot legs? <laughs> yeah. That's what we're going with here, not... You know what, I prefer frog, let it, uh, frog fetish foot legs over, uh... <laughs> the alternative. I love how the game is actively discouraging you from playing as Dragonoid by making you fight enemies that are strong against fire. We've already been playing for like 38 minutes. Have we really? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I did have enough time to make an entire D&D character sheet in the background. Nerd. The entirety of this game is basically just protecting landmarks. It, it's one giant escort quest. Oh, we're we getting Percival? God damn. I love my boy Percival. I need to switch targets. Oh my god. Percival, stop. You might do better if you shut the fuck up. It's dead. Oh my god, this game is so bad. Oh, so I'm just like parrying Percival this entire fucking time. Okay, I didn't parry him there. I couldn't get the timing right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my thought. Talking a whole lot of shit. Brontes, no! Brontes is so bloody difficult. No. Oh, thank God. Brontes gave me PTSD as a kid. Uh, please get away from my escort quest. Thanks for running into that, you fucking buffoon. Ow. Oh, he just got an attack buff. <laughs> There we go, nuked him. I fucking hate my phone. You hate your what? My phone. Why? Ever since I cracked the screen the other day, it's been, like, uh, the keyboard's been, like, fucking up real bad. Makes it really difficult to type. Maybe, like, don't drop your phone. You know what? That would have been great advice. Like, last week, when I hadn't dropped my phone yet. You're still clumsy and gay and lame. Whoa, hey. I'm not gay. How dare you lie to me? About being gay? Yeah. You're a little... I think I'm gay. Gay, 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 gay be boy. I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe a little bit. But, like, only in extenuating circumstances. Only if the guy's, like, really cute. Wait, you prefer cute guys over hot guys? Yeah. Hot guys are masculine. Oh. As in you're, you're basic and you like femboys. Yeah, exactly. I actually don't like femboys, strangely enough. Well, do you prefer more effeminate or more masculine women? Um, I like a hybrid. I see. Very interesting. I love playing shitty games like this. I do too. I, was that sarcastic? No, I was, I was being genuine. Okay, cool. I thoroughly enjoy just, like, shitting on a bad game. I'm gonna play as... My boy Percival! But he's, I love that he's, like, small, but he still looks like an absolute fucking Chad. The, um... The holograms do, like... AoEs? They heal you, but they're more just to distract the enemy from your actual landmark. Okay. I'm nuking all of you. Never mind. I thought that was my massive uh, bombing attack, but it was not. This guy's so cool. Like, they literally just got a black dragon, made him bipedal, and put him in a suit of armor. And then he, and then he just punches things. What you're saying is he's a furry. Yeah. You got a problem with that? None whatsoever. He seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Nah. Fuck you.
get parried. Okay. No, oh, he's dead. Oh no! <laughs> they demolished your hollow victory. <laughs> um. So, can somebody explain to me the design choice behind a robot that has a giant button on its back that can be depressed by a plastic sphere that causes them to shoot themselves into space and then explode? Well, you see, the people who designed the robots were like, since this is a video game, we need a mechanic to make sure that these robots can be disabled to make the gameplay more engaging. Yo, that was kind of sus. What? One of your holograms was sus. Why? Go back. Look at it. Sus hologram. Ventus. Oh. Ventus. Oh. Get parried, Ned. Never mind. Every time you try to style on them, by the way, you immediately get dunked on. Yep. Oh, fuck them up. This bird's actually kind of fun. Fucking up. Are you talking to me? I just won. Hey, it was your boy, Wilder. Yep, and he's fucking me up. I think my character's actually weak to his element. Is he like a earth type or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, then almost definitely. Oh my god, the fucking guard break. Oh my god, I've taken so much damage. I think I, if I lose- Hit him I'm with a charge it. shot! Hit him with- I'll hit him with this. Ow, that's so neat. Yeah, I'm getting fucked up by this guy. I genuinely think, like, I just have a really bad matchup. He's taking barely any damage. Oh, wonderful, I missed everything. I feel like a move like that should have minor tracking. <laughs> oh, I got obliterated. Yeah, he really did just fucking dunk on you. Yeah, yeah, okay, this character's weak against Earth, I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick Nemesis. Oh, come on! No, get away from that! Stop! Oh! This game actually makes me want to fucking kill myself. Oh my god. This Dude! Okay, I switched to Dragonoid and suddenly the fight was super easy. I'm gonna pick Dragonoid for this one because he can just stand in the lob- Oh, what the hell? It's like only one skill. Oh, Altair! Hello! Fuck, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that worked out. Dead. Ah! Oh, no, I'm in the lava! What did the equipment in them hit you? Oh, okay, I can evolve one of them. Okay, um... First of all... Yo. Evolve? You mean, like, Pokemans? Yep. Midnight Percival. Instead of being a badass that punches things, he's a badass but with a sword. And better clothes. Cool. Not big on blocking her? No. It's parry or dodge. There is no block. I can evolve another one. I'm going to evolve Ingram. Yeah. Yeah. Where's her wings? Ingram, but with no wings. <laughs> <laughs> now she's just a lady. <laughs> oh my. Fuck. Fuck you. 
Okay, that's how it feels. Alright, that's how it feels. This is like the first battle since like the first two at the beginning of the game where you're not made to protect a landmark and you're just fighting. Ah! I call this the better than you cube. <laughs> okay, good. He got stuck in the fucking annoying ass trap things that stop you from attacking. Get shit on, nerd. That was actually like pretty hard. I almost died. Oh my god, triple whammy. Oh, Bronte's is back, is he? Oh no, who's this? Oh my god, it's Wilder, but like, it's, it's Wilder's gay cousin. What? Oh my god! Sheesh! Oh, there we go. How does Percival fly with no wings? Um, because he doesn't fucking care. Okay, Master Ingo Oh, I remember this being an insanely hard fight. I struggled with this a shitload. I am sweating out of my fucking arsehole right now, Jesus. Well, don't do that. I'm sure that's bad for you somehow. Oh, I'm fucking gonna die, aren't I? Very possible. Thank you for making me miss. No! Oh my god, I was so close! You had a literally empty health bar, though. <laughs> Are you alright? You're kind of getting your ass kicked. <laughs> you know, if you lose this fight, you lose the fight, right? <laughs> Shut up. I actually don't fucking give a shit anymore. This is the gayest Inch game the world has ever seen, and I have, like... I literally have a collection of Yuri visual novels, and they're still not as gay as this. Okay, I'm gonna activate this. Then I'm gonna activate this. Oh my god. Uh, what? Okay. You I, just won? Right. Yeah, I just won. How? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where you have to fight Dragonoid and kill him and rip the head from his neck. I'm gonna play as, a uh, the wet one. I'm kinda like beating the shit out of him with the frog wife, my god. It is ass. Ow. Not like that. <laughs> Easy. If you're on the opposite side of the crystal from them, can you trick them into attacking it? No, the game is not that smart. Oh wow, brilliant. Oh my god, he has no cooldown. But I managed to dodge that because I'm a fucking gamer. By the way, this is easy as shit, Jesus Christ. Fucking, what are they called? The, David the credits. D's Uretra? There's a guy up above, la above that whose name was like, uh, like Danny Little John or something <laughs> like that. Good night. Mm-hmm.